So now this is your class. Imagine that you are the lecturer and you are in the class. Now you are all enrolled in the class. I want to uh, calculate how many students are actually engaged in the class. I will show you how it's done. So Zul will go down to the analytics. Okay, so analytics, go down to analytics. Learning analytics. Okay. So if you look at that in this, there are something known as reports button. There's a reports button. You click on report. Okay. And then you can look at analytics graphs. Okay. So you can see the content access. So we'll go to con number of active student or content access. You can use any one of those. Okay. So now I want to see how many students are actually active in the class. I can actually look, click on assignment feedback. So how many students have accessed? Okay. So click and then you build graph. Okay, so now this shows directly how many students are in the class, how many students are engaged and active. So suppose you have a class with about 100 students or 150 students, you can't actually see how many students are actually in the class or how many are active. This one gives you a direct access. Okay, so you can see that two go up to announce uh, the first one. I mean, okay, two students have access the first, then you can see how many have not. So you, if you have not access, you can directly click on the graph and you can send them a message to their system they'll automatically get the message asking them to access. Okay, the other one is the number of active students. Go up to the top, sir. Okay, so, so go to the tab of number of active students. There, Atas, 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 the tab, third, the next tab, number of active students. Okay. okay, so now you can see exactly how many students are active. You can mouse over onto the mouse on the thing. Okay, so you can see who are the active students in the class. So this shows you which students are logged on into your system. Can you see your name there? <laughs> so you can see who is logged. So Mr. Madhirin is there also, right? So Intan is there, Cyril, and then I cannot see. Norhuda is there, Rosli. So you can see who is in the class, okay? So you don't have to worry about attendance because all this data in analytics, you can actually print it out for your course file. So you have evidence of the attendance in your class, okay? So there is no issue of attendance when you see this. So you can see the students who are there who actually re registered and not active, okay? So that shows you the analytics. So this analytics is basically used to track the students in your class and how many students are actually missing out on your lecture. You can basically link that analytic function to your grades and scores. So for example, if you have a student who is not performing well, you can go back to analytics, check, did she or he not access my lecture note? You will know based on it. Or even if, if you gave like five questions in final exam and then you found out that in question number four, they are not scoring anything. Then you go back and check analytics. So this is the way you do the intervention with analytics all the time. 